Hey guys, I'm back and I'm in my comfy robe once again. I think that I'm going to start doing videos like this. Just in this robe, you're going to see a lot more of this robe. This is my granny robe. It has a zipper. It goes down to the floor. Favorite robe. And also, I'm in one of my favorite wigs. Um, this is not the wig I planned on talking about today, but you will get a two-for-one video right now. <laughs> So anyway, this wig, I'm just going to do a little quick synopsis on it. It is by You Nice. I got it from Amazon. They um, sent me this hair to do a review on a long time ago. I didn't get a lot of views on that video because I guess they're a well-known company and a lot of people have already done reviews on them. But this hair is definitely amazing. It is, I believe, 18 or 20 inches. Um, I don't honestly remember the specs on this hair, but... I think that it might be 18 or just a true 18 or it might be 20. I don't really know. But this is the wig that I use just to throw on anytime I'm going somewhere and I don't feel like putting on a frontal wig because it was a closure in here that I had to sew onto a wig cap. And I think I did a good job. This is the only wig I wear with a middle part because it's enough here for me to do so with. And so yeah, I would suggest that you buy from them. But like I said, that is not the hair that I was supposed to be talking about today. It is actually this hair. This company is called JYL Hair, and they're from Amazon as well. This is actually a lace front wig. Um, it's actually 360. I don't know why I called it lace front, but it's a 360 wig with a lot of parting space. I have already opened this. Um, I will insert the video when I first took it out the package. Well, second time I took it out the package is the first time I took it out. I actually brushed out the hair. I should have actually waited to show you guys what it looked like. But it was basically, if you can imagine how that hair, I will try to insert a picture of this too. It was basically coiled and then I tried to brush it out and yeah, it became a mess. So <laughs> after I did that, I decided to wash it and I'll show you what it looks like now. The hair came with... A wig cap it comes with two in a pack and this is the wig and I must have threw away the card <laughs> so this is the wig this is it after I washed it it needs to definitely be straightened it definitely I guess kept its wavy curl it does look kind of um what would you call it frizzy but I think that's more my fault than it is the wig's fault. Um, if you end up buying this hair, let me know down in the comments if you think that it was the wig's fault or my fault for the reason why it looks frizzy. Because when I did take it out of the pack, I did brush through the bottom like a mad woman. And so I think some of this is my fault and not just all the wig's fault. It is definitely... I mean, my hands get through it. I feel like if it was straight, my hands would get through it better. Um, so let me just talk about the hair. It is, like I said, a 360 wig, so lace all the way around. They say that they bleach the knots. As you can see, the cap is kind of dark. I've never seen a cap this dark um, with my wigs, but I think I'm going to still go in and re-bleach the knots. It does look bleached from the bottom, but if you look at it from the top, you could definitely see some black dots. So I think I'm going to go in and re-bleach it. This is the front that I am showing you. So let's see. From here to here is the front because that's where you have the seams. Oh, I don't know if you can even see this. That's where you have the seams for where the ears tabs start about. If I flip it inside out, which is so hard for me to do, I'm also just punch through it. Let's see. There are four combs, two at the bottom and then two along the sides, which are around the ear tabs. It does have adjustable straps. They are the stretch kind, which means that they're not just structured and you pull it. It is definitely the ones that are stretchy, which is nice. I did have one time a wig that it was literally just, um, I don't know, it wasn't stretchy. It wasn't um, elastic. So these are elastic um, pull tabs. You can cut off the lace in the back and put it up. And this is a... What was it? Did I buy a 22 or a 20? I believe I brought a 20. I will definitely insert if I the measurement if I didn't buy a 20 and I brought a 22, but I believe I brought a 20. The wig, once again, I'll insert the price. The wig was about 100 and 
80 50 60 I don't know that's like a couple different prices it definitely was 150 it might have been 160 70 or 80 I will insert that price as well and down below I will insert the link and now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on I'm not cutting off the lace by the way so guys this is the wig I'm not really sure if it's 20 or 22 this is looking like a 22 to me but like I said I will insert a picture I mean I will insert the sizing right over here if it is actually 20 or 22 um and I really love it this is the parting space along the side like because I said I am a side part person this is the middle let me see if I can just do it with my finger or if I have to fetch myself a comb Oof. yeah I think this hair needs to definitely be straightened it does have a little bit of kink and or pull after I washed it. So that is the middle. Let's see if it goes any further back. Yeah, that's as far as I would do it. <laughs> that is the middle. Let me pull it back to the side. But yeah, this is the wig itself. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like, give you some um, information on it. I'm not going to be rocking this wig for probably a year or so. I got it for a vacation um, later on, so there will not be any updates until next year. <laughs> so if you guys happen to buy this wig... Let me know what you think about it down in the comment section so you can help other people who would love to buy this wig. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias at Maya Maya underscore love. M-A-Y-A, M-A-Y-A underscore L-O-V-E.